Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and as many of you know, I'm a big fan of the HD Home Run. It's a device from a company called Silicon Dust, and what it does is it lets you bring in your live television from broadcast or from cable and uh, get it over to your Ethernet network so you can watch it on uh, your devices throughout the house, so set-top boxes, tablets, that sort of thing. And what I'm doing with it is running a Windows Media Center DVR so I can uh, basically get a Networks DVR to every television in my house, and I can do it on my terms because I own all the equipment, so I don't need to rent anything from the cable company. It is really uh, convenient, and in fact, it's also a video, a video I made about it has become the most popular one on my channel with over like half a million views. Uh, what HD Home Run's makers, Silicon Dust, are looking to do uh, is come up with their own software DVR product, and they've launched a Kickstarter, and they've asked me to uh, help them out with that, which I am more than happy to do because I think they are an excellent company, and I'm really eager to actually see this product get made. Uh, and what they're going to do is uh, be able to kind of simplify this thing to a point where I could probably set this up at my mother's house and leave it there because it's really a zero configuration kind of situation, and it really works quite well. Now the differences are between using a Windows Media Center server, for example, and what uh, Silicon Dust is proposing is that they're going to let you run it on a NAS device as a server. So this WD MyCloud uh, can be my DVR server, so I can get rid of the computer that's running that perhaps. And what's nice about using something like a MyCloud or a QNAP device, those are the two that are announced at the moment, there'll be others also, uh, is that these are pre-configured devices. You can buy them, plug them in, uh, download their app from uh, the WD store, and you are going to be ready to go with it. It's really that simple to get it going uh, because the HD home run device on your network will have all the channel information. Uh, the server software running on here will connect up to Silicon Dust servers, get all the stuff put together, and you've got a DVR pretty much right when you plug everything in, and it's really pretty slick. Now, in addition to making the server side a little bit simpler, they're going to be making the playback side simpler and less expensive also because you'll be able to use Android set-top boxes not only as a live television viewing device, as you can now, uh, but you can also use it as a DVR client uh, for the server here. So we could use the Android box to set up recordings, watch recordings, and those are a lot you know, cheaper to kind of get in the door with than maybe doing an Xbox on a Windows Media Center device or something like that. So that is a, a great development. Additionally, if they hit the stretch goals, there's going to be a Kodi client as well, and then you can kind of get it working on a Raspberry Pi, which, you know, those things cost next to nothing. So it's going to be really neat uh, to see how that comes about. All right, I'm sure you're sick of hearing me blabbing away here, so let's take a look at the software and get into it. Uh, this is going to run within HD Home Run View, which is a software package that uh, they currently have for viewing live television, and what they are integrating is the DVR system into that existing software, so it's going to work with things you're already familiar with. And as you can see, they have loaded up a bunch of stuff on my DVR. It's also been recording away itself while uh, it's been at my house here the last week or so, uh, so you can see what things look like, and you get you know the channel guide information on every recording that you have, and if you want to watch something of course you just go over to the uh, thing you want to watch hit the button and it'll start playing back from the recording so that's how that's going to work so pretty simple and self-explanatory there now for recording content they've got a really nice interface here so you've got uh, some things that they're going to be curating, some of the more popular shows that will be uh, accessible to you right from the home screen here, so you don't have to go searching for it. But if you want to go look for something, uh, you can just type in, for example, like Jimmy, if you want to see Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon, I can then uh, click on the show that I want to record. I just have to hit the record series button here, uh, and there's usually like a little JavaScript notification that pops up right now, so we'll just acknowledge that. And now you can see this is ready to be recorded, and that is what it's going to do. It also gives you a list of all of the uh, upcoming broadcasts. What they're going to do is favor the HD version of uh, those broadcasts, and it will be able to differentiate between uh, new shows and reruns, too. And I'll show you the options that you have for determining that, too. So that is how uh, the guide search is going to work. Pretty simple there. And I really like just how simple all of this is. It's really not a very complicated thing to be looking at. Now, another screen that we're looking at here now is the recording rules. So you can see here that I have it now recording the David Letterman show. It's always going to record it whenever it sees it pop on, but I could change that to say only recent episodes, which means that only the new episodes are going to be recorded and it's going to skip uh, any of the reruns that might be out there. So you do have some uh, control over how you want to do that. And if I wanted to completely uh, remove something, like maybe I changed my mind on Survivor, of course, I can hit delete and it will take it off the list. Now, the cool thing about how the recordings work is that all the files that it records, it's just going to dump into a directory on the NAS and there's no database attached to these files. So if you wanted to delete something very quickly without having to go you know, hit the remote a million times, uh, you can pop in the windows, delete the files, and it's not going to screw anything up on the DVR side. Likewise, if you have a, a pre-recorded file that is an unprotected file, you could go in with a video editor, maybe strip out some parts of the video, you know, trim it, 
uh, resave it and it won't screw up the DVR either. So again, it's just looking at the file for uh, its uh, metadata for getting everything going and that's all you need to worry about. So that is a pretty neat thing. So a lot of folks might be asking though, why with an established uh, set of products and everything else, why is this company going out to Kickstarter to get this product launched? And the reason is, is that they're not a huge company. They uh, have really been focused on hardware like this, uh, not so much on software like you just saw. So they really wanna make sure there's a market for this uh, before they go out and uh, invest a considerable amount in getting everything polished up and finished, as well as having to go get all the licensing uh, for the protected content that we're all going to expect from this when uh, it does launch. So that is why they're going out to Kickstarter. It's a great way too to get feedback uh, from a lot of their hardcore users because backers are going to get uh, different degrees of early access to the software to be able to continue uh, kind of guiding their process moving forward too. So there's a lot of good reasons to go out to Kickstarter and I think for them it's a really good choice uh, to do here as well. So that is uh, the whole state of the DVR at the moment. There are going to be things that they'll be adding over time and I'm certainly going to be coming back uh, and looking at those. But this gives you an idea as to the concept that they're looking at and I think it's really good. Uh, so good that I could see this replacing my Windows Media Center and I'm really eager to uh, get this thing develop developed so I could start doing that uh, here at my house. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.